past two years have changed so many things, from travel restrictions to employment situations, and then 2021's so-called Great Resignation. Personally, the biggest change in my career and life started in 2010, when I quit my job to pursue a lifestyle more congruent to my values. It's been 12 years since I left my job, and I have no regrets about that decision. In fact, my life has become richer and fuller, and I wouldn't change anything about it. Perhaps some people would think it's a reckless idea to quit a job since I am a solo parent with a child who goes to school, a mortgage to pay, and several other expenses that need a steady income to cover them all. But my reason for quitting my job was plain and simple. It was killing my soul. I enjoy teaching, but it's the other things about my job that drained the life out of me. I had almost no weekends, I was not present for my son for most of the day, and I was extremely tired each time I got home. I was surviving, but most definitely not thriving. So I thought hard and long about what I was experiencing and asked myself, do I really want to be in this situation for another 10, 20, 30 years or so? But I did not just walk away from my job. I had an escape plan and a clear strategy to set the wheels in motion. In my heart, I wanted a career that would allow me to work at my own preferred time. One that would give me the freedom to declare a holiday for myself when I needed or wanted to, to be present for my son, to live anywhere I wanted, and not tied up to a location I disliked just because it's close to my workplace. Back in 2010, remote work was not very popular. But I had my big break in 2009 when I got a side job as an author and published a school textbook which paid me more than three months of working as a teacher. And the best thing about it, I got to do what I really wanted, to work at the comfort of my own home, and sometimes even at a cafe or a park, as long as I had my laptop with me. But I did not just walk over to my superiors at school one day with a resignation letter in hand. Several months before I quit my job, I was working on developing certain skills that would equip me better for remote work. Fast forward to this day, I am glad I took that risk of stepping into the unknown and pursuing a career that fits the kind of lifestyle I wanted. Most of all, I appreciate having the financial, location, and time freedom as a freelancer. I have a more flexible schedule shorter work hours if I want to, and a better work-life balance. I also created a weekly routine that is less stressful to simplify my day, which I will talk more about in my next video. I did not know all of these things were possible before I quit my job. I was afraid to take the risk because I thought there's permanent security by staying where I was since I had payments, loans, and a mortgage to pay. Yet, I was clearly miserable and wanted the day to end even before it started. So I figured if I was miserable in my job and did not change anything in 5 or 10 years, I would only be much more miserable, depressed, and a lot older. I pursued a lifestyle that I found to be more meaningful, and the first step was switching to a career that allowed me to make it happen. By practicing minimalism, living simply and intentionally, I get to keep my priorities in check. By living simply, 
I don't need to take on many projects and earn more money at the expense of my time, health, and happiness. I make enough from what I do, and I only spend my money on things that I really need. Quitting my job and living simply are some of the best decisions I made in my life, and I am glad that I took this path. But I'm not here to give career advice. I am only sharing my thoughts on why I quit my job and where that decision has taken me. At the end of the day, the choice is up to you. If you find meaning in your job, if you feel that it sparks joy in your soul, and you genuinely love it, then that's what matters. But if you constantly find yourself in a state of suffering, your heart and soul yearn for something far more meaningful and enriching, and your health and relationships are suffering because of the level of commitment your job requires from you, then it may be worth rethinking your situation and exploring other options before it is too late. Thank you for watching this video and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Wishing you all a lovely day or night. See you again next Saturday.